<clears throat> it feels like pulling yourself apart by the cheeks and then having your skeleton animated by periodic surges of electricity step from one half of your body into the other. Personally, I don't think that's a very good description. There you go. It was like having my hair cut with a cheese grater. As the hollow teeth ground down to my scalp, I found that my skin and my skull and everything below it was all made of hair, and the blades tugged as the barber planed his hand through me, and the strands of me stretched and broke into fluttering breaths that collapsed and gathered onto the floor to be swept into the next room. You can make of that what you will. <laughs> you get a feeling in your stomach like you just remembered that you left the oven on in every house you've ever lived in. <laughs> every day of your life. <laughs> Imagine having your left eye replaced by a hazard light and your right eye turned fully inwards to watch the flashing danger orange of your own organs pulsing against the inside of your skull. <laughs> I was alone, so fucking utterly alone, like nothing I've ever felt before, like being dropped on top of a mountain, and the air is so thin you can't breathe or see anything, like my soul had been cut out of me with a scalpel. I actually felt any happiness, any love, any positivity I had ever experienced in my life dug and clawed out of my being, the raw cavity of my body covered up clumsily with peeled skin and corroded muscle tissue. Since that day, my whole body feels like a scar. Every step, every movement of my body is like walking through razor wire. I would kill myself, but I no longer have... I don't think I was supposed to read that one. So. <laughs> it felt like being beaten to death by a doppelganger of yourself, constructed from a lifetime's worth of the sludge dug out from underneath your fingernails. It was better than sex. If sex was being pushed through an industrial waste disposal unit by the person you thought you would grow up to be when you were 12 years old, while stereo headphones play an acoustic cover of Crawling by Linkin Park sung in Korean into your left ear, and Jake Bug performing a thrash metal guitar solo of anyone else but you by the Moldy Peaches into your right ear. Only worse. These are just a few of the myriad accounts that we collected during the first phases of the experiment, and I think they give quite a well-rounded a description of how it feels to transcend the restrictions of a single reality. But as exciting as it is, the technology is really only one small part of Doubtful Science Incorporated's endeavours. The true nature of the project is far wider reaching. The work Doubtful Science is doing is really beyond anything that you can possibly begin to imagine. We will explore more about the science and art of parallel universal travel when we continue in part two of our lecture series. Our field research analyst will now be conducting some tests into the effects of this lecture on your sensory and cognitive functions. So if you're approached, please remain calm and compliant during this brief musical interlude. Thank you. <laughs>